Two questions. First of all, what do we need from training? <coughs> do we need knowledge? Do we need building our character? And shaping our manners? Do we need lifting our spirit? Okay? This is your answer <coughs> when you talk to another. Because you have to identify why you are here for. Second thing which I'm going to talk about is politeness. What do you mean by politeness? Okay. Anything else? With whom? Taadub ma'aman. Being polite with whom? Yourself and others. Yourself and others. People you attracted. I saw a photo on the Facebook. Which she gave me an impression that Islamic Relief is not a polite organization. Because one of your people, give me a chair, please. This photo was sitting like this. What this kind of setting means for me and you on a Facebook. What does it mean? Somebody who's a bit too relaxed. Relaxed. Um, could be lack of respect or something like Lack of respect. Could be also comfortable. Comfortable? Yeah. Depends on the context. It depends. It depends on the context. It depends. I know in some cultures that that gesture is disrespectful, as seen as disrespectful by some. Okay. Islamic relief worker, relief worker should never cross his legs in front of anybody. And this is your manner. Because they have been employed by the people who pay you the money, or the poor people. I don't want to see the size of your shoes, the color of your socks, okay, or the value of the shoes that you are wearing. When I look at it on the Facebook image, it gives me a message. Arrogance or disrespect. Like why is it? Brightness with whom? I was doing a selfie video. You know what you mean, selfie video? Engineer. Because I don't have an assistant to me, I don't have a budget or human resources or financial resources. Okay? Coming back to it, likeness is with the poor, with the sticky eyes, bare footed. With running nose, nearly naked child, miserable looking, have to be very polite with him or her. This is where we start the politeness. This is where we have the training. Your training is very good, but not good enough for me. Unless and until I know whom I am serving and who is paying my salary. And who is living in the life that I don't live? Eating the food that I don't eat. Drinking the drink that I cannot drink. And wearing the clothes the clothes that I don't have. And I will never be able to. This is a politeness. That's why the Prophet Muhammad was uh, uh, asking about the black servant woman in the mosque. Black servant in the mosque. Where is she? 
We told them she died. Why didn't you tell me? So I could have prayed upon her soul. But she's just a cleaner. The respect goes to the black servant. This is the quality of the politeness of the Prophet. And when he stood up and respect of the body of the dead Jew, not a Muslim, but he was a Jewish man. This is the respect which comes out of the brightness of the character of the Prophet. You count the money, you are dead meat. You just talk about money, uh, dead meat. No value in you. You lose the ground. Because money evaporates. Value stays forever. Manner stays. A man and a woman is a complexity of many good behavior, manners, and vice versa. We cannot claim that we are relief worker championing the others when we do not have a good manner. When we do not feel the agony of the people that we claim that we are serving. When we only look at the money that we raise. I give you the condition. What's your condition when you are going to meet a big donor? And what's your condition when you are going to see a miserably looking family? Ask myself and yourself. Psychologically, how I prepare to get that check or how I am prepared uh, to sit down with those people. I will extend my time and time and time with the donor because I want the money. But I will rush and leave the children behind because I have something else to do. But the reward before Allah is different. The abundance of the reward is with the sticky eye. Young, miserably looking boy. More than the others. But we, don't, we do not value the value because we might not be able to, we might not be the right people to carry on the job. Clearly, clearly what are you writing? <laughs> I'm speaking riddles. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, uh, anyway, this is what I wanted to talk to you about this morning.